Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church. Here, right here in Waterford, Michigan. We've been talking about, last couple of days, about how we tend to avoid negative things in our lives, distasteful tasks that are part of our work or our life. How do we avoid them? We look away from them. We get preoccupied. We're thoughtless. We're um, literally without thought. And I suggested yesterday that we really need to look into uh, a life of mindfulness, taking the time to reflect on our lives, taking the time to reflect on what God is doing in our world and in our lives. And we might need to be mindful to the needs of others, to our own needs. And I said, let's uh, talk about today how we might put that into practice. And I'm going to sort of share with you an experience that I had, oh, many, many years ago, about 32 years ago, actually. Uh, there was going to be a transition in the senior pastor. I had been a youth pastor for five years, and a new pastor was coming into the church I was serving, and I just knew it was going to be a time of, of change. I knew that uh, my ministry might look a little different, and uh, there was a little anxiety. But the senior pastor, as he came into my into this church, in this church where I was serving as a youth pastor, he invited me to a retreat with uh, Parker Palmer. Now, Parker Palmer is a, is an author. Uh, he's a Quaker. Uh, he's a very reflective uh, individual, uh, very spiritual. And he led this retreat. And true to his Quaker roots, we had a time of quiet meditation and uh, just to listen. And we were, it was in the spring, and we were in this community center uh, up north, and it was spring. The weather was, you know, changing between being cold, uh, uh, very cold at night and warm during the day. And uh, as we were having this moment of quietness, this moment of quiet meditation, the furnace, which was, you could hear it from the basement, would kick on and the, the blowers would start and the warm air would start to rise. And and then it would get warmer as we were still in this time of meditation. And then it would kick off and then it would get quiet again. And it would kick on again. And, and the blowers would start and the warm air would come up and you would hear that furnace, the, the, the fire starting up again from the pilot. Oh, my gosh. It was just interesting. And I, and I sort of became aware of the rhythm of that, uh, that, that it'd get cooler and then it, it'd heat up again. And, and I began to think, what might God be trying to tell me in that moment? And I sort of took it as a sign that I need to build a new fire within my belly for ministry. I need to, with this new lead pastor, I need to uh, find out uh, what he's about, uh, see what vision he might have for the church, see where uh, we might be going together as, uh, as colleagues in ministry. And I said, I need to have a fire built within my belly. To, to move forward uh, in a ministry that is meaningful. And uh, it was a great time, uh, you know, of, of revelation. That's, I think, a pretty good idea, a uh, pretty good definition for mindfulness. Just pay attention to the world around you and then ask, what is God trying to tell you? I suggested yesterday what does it mean when you stand at a stoplight and you look into the eyes of a person who's homeless? What is God trying to tell you? When we get phone calls here at the church uh, every day of the week, people needing help, food, help with rent, uh, help with uh, insurance for their cars, you know, just lots of different demands uh, on our resources and, and the mission and ministry of this church. And what is God trying to tell us? How are we to help those who come in the door? How do we really need the help? I mean, they, they want a helping hand, but what is the, the deeper need? What's the deeper crisis of their life? Are we really addressing those issues by writing a check and, and uh, giving them a bag of food? Some things to think about in terms of mindfulness paying attention to the world around you, paying attention to yourself, paying attention to your body, paying attention to the presence of others. How can we be mindful 
as we travel through this world on a day-to-day basis, dependent on seeing the world through God's eyes, asking for God's guidance, asking for God's peace and confidence so that we may know that all will have the possibility to know our gracious and loving God. I hope you've had a a great week. It's Friday. Once again, I want to invite you to join us for worship on Sunday at 1030. Check out Central United Methodist Church, Waterford, Michigan on Facebook. Uh, We stream live at 1030 from our beautiful sanctuary. Uh, At this point, we are going to be having conversations around what it would mean to open up the church and uh, to get into in-person worship again, I hope (laughs) sooner than later. But we are, uh, the leadership of this church is talking about that. But join us online through Facebook, uh, Central United Methodist Church. And let's uh, end this uh, time of devotion with a prayer. Gracious God, we ask that you teach us how to be mindful. Teach us how to pay attention to our bodies, our spirits, our surroundings, that we may hear what it is that you would want us to pay attention to, what you would want us to be mindful of, and how our actions and our response to your call upon our lives can make the greatest difference for the lives of others. Lead us, Lord. Lead us to be your hands, your lips, your feet in this world that needs your presence so desperately. In Christ's name we pray, and through the power of of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good weekend, friends, and God bless.